This is N2LEN with another quick video clip. This is the the Dentron Clipperton L. Uh, this particular unit was actually uh, given to me as partial payment for some repair work I did for a gentleman on his uh, FT901 uh, DM. Uh, this particular unit was um, I guess he inherited it from an, uh, an elderly hand who passed away and uh, this unit was given to me. It was in pretty sorry shape. Uh, it's all original. Uh, the, the main problem that I had was I had to completely disassemble this entire um, amplifier. Literally uh, remove the power supply, high voltage board, the high voltage transformer. Uh, all the tubes came out. Uh, the actual uh, uh, plate choke came out, both uh, variables came out, the whole tank section uh, lifted up and came out. Um, this particular center section that everything is mounted to, all these door nard caps, uh, this actually comes out, there's, <coughs> excuse me, you need to remove the front panel. The front panel's uh, literally held on by uh, one, one little nut that holds the meter, actually, and then these two um, the operate and standby and the transmit uh, uh, sockets they are actually held in with nuts on the back and then there's one actual nut uh, you gotta re remove all the knobs but anyway uh, the problem with this one is the bottom chassis the floor of the unit on this side was, uh, was susceptible I guess to uh, water and there was tremendous rust and corrosion and pitting and uh, after I removed everything from the chassis, the entire back panel was off. The unit, uh, I then actually sanded uh, the rust out, cleaned it, and then just basically um, primed and painted the bottom. Uh, this is the first initial test. Uh, these are Mallory uh, 125 microfarad 450 volt original caps, original bleeder resistors, original uh, diodes, um, power supply. The high voltage supply is original in the very uh, bottom. It's hard to see, but there were two uh, 0.01s that are right in there. They needed to be replaced. Those are one kilovolt, kilovolt 0.01 uh, ceramic disc capacitors that are on a small little uh, three pole. Uh, comes right off the AC line. Uh, they were uh, blown to smithereens. Uh, and then basically, um, I mean, it was a very very dirty very filthy I uh, when I had it apart I disassembled both uh, uh, variables and uh, literally washed them with toothbrush and some ivory soap and then blasted them clean uh, of course sprayed them with uh, deoxid uh, all the switches were deoxid the uh, um, um, but what, what was really interesting about this uh, before I powered up and this will be the very first power up um, was that um, you could literally take this entire unit apart with only desoldering a handful of wires on the uh, the high voltage board. I think there's like uh, maybe six or seven wires total and then everything uh, of course you have to break all the wire ties and the grommets that are on the bottom. There'll be pictures of the entire disassembly process that will post with this video on YouTube. Other slides will follow. Well, let me go ahead and uh, we're going to power it up. I have it plugged in and set for 220. And uh, this is basically it. So uh, let me see, I have it on standby. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, quickly uh, flip it on. Oh, there we go. It's on. Fan is kicking on. And it looks like all the tubes are lit, which is a good thing. See if I can shut the lights off here. There you go. I can see them. Wow. Looks really good. I have, believe it or not, I'm using a, my DeWalt battery to hold down the safety switch because I'm not operating with a cover. Uh, but, uh, yeah, all the tubes are lit. They all look good. These are original Dentron um, 572Bs. Uh, I don't know if they, if they were made by Centron, but let me go ahead and put the lights back on. OK. 
two. There we go. Let's take a look at the high voltage. I'm not even gonna touch anything else because I'm gonna be basically dumb after this. Uh, we're sitting at um, uh, 2,500 volts. Uh, very good, very very good. And let's see what it is in low power. It's a hair over 2,500, I believe, or, or literally right on 2,500. But let's drop it into low. There we go. Let's see what it drops down to. Okay, so it's 16 to 1800, 1800 volts uh, across the plates in low, and in high, 2500. Uh, what I did was I reversed, I don't know if this is the original fan, but I reversed the fan so it's actually blowing, it's sucking the hot air out, and I put a small little uh, squirrel cage on the back, it's hard to see. That's a 110 fan, and it seems pretty quiet. Um, and that's basically it. Wow, looks like we got a really nice, uh, a good start. Okay, with no shorts. This is N2LEN, and we'll say uh, best of 73 with the Dentron Clipperton L Complete Rebuild, best 73.